you know, I've got my iPad here with my Apple Pen. It doesn't have to be exactly that but I'm gonna run through Rehab Estimator Pro on this property quick for this short sale that we just got approved. And uh, as I see right away, man, concrete stoop looks great. Iron railing is uh, black. The windows are, eh, storms on them. Definitely need to be replaced. The uh, gutters are there. They're not the big three by four, but there's no peeling paint on here. Did I see yet? Siding is in decent shape. We'll definitely paint it. The uh, the roof is, is older, but it's still an architectural shingle. It's not a three tab. There's a coating on the uh, basement here. I don't see any major cracks just because there's a coating it looks like you know, on the outside that with, it's just paint. So you, you really can't tell, but the rest I see are vinyl windows. It was just that front window. So man, I'm getting really excited about this house already just because it's simple. It's in a great neighborhood. There's that park I was telling you about. And you've got a uh, detached garage. You can see, you know, the garage door looks newer, new-ish, but it's pushed in on the bottom there. You can tell that's gonna need some work with the rail, some paint on the fascia. There's a couple of uh, remodel boxes in the front that need some lights on them. So we'll get into that garage later. But for now, I'm gonna get into the house here. The uh, lockbox is on the back door, not the front. So looks like 100 amp service. We've got a, at least, because we got the we got the round meter on the, but we got the square box behind it. So it's not an old 60 amp. It looks like an old 60 amp line though, going into it. But um, as, as far as the uh, feeding into the house, but that's just the housing there. You can see flashing going into the siding there. Looks like they replaced a window, but man, pleasantly, surprised here we'll take that antenna down as well let's get inside the house okay we are open now and again letting you guys know with i gotta get rep going here we want to be in and in and out of this house in less than 13 minutes as you can see i do not have a tape measure on but i am walking this house for the first time i promise i have not seen it as with anything we are always checking the boxes flooring and paint so and it looks like a storm door i didn't shut it the thing's gonna blow off in the breeze oh there we go it latched okay looks like there's been a couple of lockbox changes different servicing companies <coughs> all right no jokes about covid that's for sure okay once we're in here man i phew, tricky one got a new uh frigidaire stove Newer, new-ish, uh, definitely newer cabinets with uh, glass tile backsplash. I am gonna have a hard time tearing all that out. It is new laminate tops. Um, I think I'll be tearing those out. Put a uh, granite sink in with uh, some stone. Man, the windows look good. I love the old trim. Those are vinyl, have been replaced. If anything, I would only replace glass packs as needed and then I would replace that entire front window, okay? Our flooring button that we clicked is going to cover refinishing these hardwood floors. Again, new windows here, paint. Wow, I just put five panel doors in my own house and look at these beauties. Once we're in the garage, I can see the, the door just came out of the track. So that's perfectly fine. I see a new spring, new bar here. So that's in great shape however uh i would question power i see a light bulb so we got to check that for sure but there is no opener on this door so that's the only thing that we would add nobody wants to come home and have to open a garage door uh cardinal sin guys don't ever ever open a refrigerator or freezer especially one that's been in a garage with no power on uh, everybody's tendency is to go open that thing and look it is not worth it but just gonna take uh throwing some crap into the dumpster there are no major repairs to make concrete looks good we'll put an opener in it and uh once the garage door company comes out to service it they'll add that we'll just get it all done in one shot it's decent but the basement's unfinished so these comps for two ones even though it says it's yellow we're getting off from the bathroom count is actually pretty accurate so um we've got a uh Real, look at these comps, you know, March 17th this year, and we've got a couple in uh, late summer here as well. So 
Olive Street, Olive Street. I know that one well in Mitchell Street. So uh, we're getting into that half mile, 0.3 quarter mile radius, so that's fine. It gives it a score of 2, 2, and 3. It uh, comes up with average sold price of 107000 so 109 109 103 These are pretty close, but I'm telling you right now, I've got a couple investors that have flipped two houses on that street, and they were into the 118 range, which is really interesting that that's what the Zestimate is showing, um, 120 even. So let's just be fair and be a little conservative, but still push the envelope on that uh, suggested and we'll go with 115, 115,000 square foot is only 843. We're going to go through real fast. The roof, as you saw with the pictures, you can look through them yourself. I'm not going to do a side by side on this, guys. Can show you how fast this is, and this is even based on memory. I had my iPad in there, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to go through that right now. Uh, the roof was fine, uh, even on the detached two car garage. So we're going to leave that. Um, tuck pointing does not need exterior painting. Siding, soffit, and fascia, that is very true. We are going to check that box. That is a must. So um, so this is paint garage per car. We are going to do this. And so we're going to put, uh, we're going to put, it is a two-car garage. We're just going to double that 200%. There are, there's a picture window in front. We're going to call that three windows. The rest of the windows were replaced. Gutters and downspouts are there. They're fine. I'd rather see it, you know, put into the three by four downspouts, the bigger ones, but doesn't matter at this point. Uh, with painting the outside, we don't need vinyl. Same thing with the garage. Um, I am going to go on the back end and add a an opener. We don't need a new door, but it does need an opener. So I'm going to show you how cool that is on the back end. This is just for the quick hits. You know, does it need a new garage door with an opener? That's not the case. We just need an opener. We definitely always click light landscaping and cleanup. And I am going to put on there... Uh, we're going to do one exterior door. The one in the front's okay. It's steel. There's no window in it. But the one in the back definitely needs to be replaced. We've got paint, of course. We're going to do the flooring. I wanted to keep the cabinets, but I did not want to... Uh, um, the counters are laminate. I'd keep it as a rental. They're new. They put glass tile backsplash in. It's, it's okay work. I'm going to still put in here a low-end kitchen just to put some money towards it because it needs, um, I, I probably want to put granite in if I'm going to sell it. So let's just do that for now. Um, the cabinets are newer, new-ish, let's just say. So I am going to definitely do a full bath in there. That needs the work for sure. Um, low-end appliances. I do have, there's a fridge needed. There's a stove that's newer. Um, I'll probably keep this number or toggle it down just to, let's go 75% just because there's a newer stove. I need to replace the microwave to match and there is no dishwasher or room for one in this house. So um, door, doors and casing are fine. There's probably put a new door in the bathroom. We'll keep that in that price. Definitely add a thousand bucks for framing and drywall repair. I would like to do a rec room, but it just doesn't make sense down in this basement. So we're going to leave that. We're going to go back to the top. Project manager on this. The furnace is already 80% efficiency. I'm going to get that tested before I replace it. Just because it's it's been done in the last, looks like, 10 years. I didn't look at the date on there, but uh, since the uh, water heater was just done, brand new, I'm going to assume that the furnace was at least cared for, looked at. So we're not going to do furnace or AC, um, but I am going to do an inspect on that heating and cooling system. It's only 180 bucks, guys. Get somebody in there to look at it. So with plumbing, I am going to do new shutoffs and a few repairs because there's a couple of pieces of galvanized pipe. Okay, so you know that's the part where um, you know this will this will cover that cost. There's all new copper in the basement, but there's a few pieces of galvanized left in the ceiling. We're not going to replumb the whole house, no water heater. Electrical, we're definitely going to replace all the fixtures, switches, and receptacles. It already had a 100 amp panel, so we're not going to have to touch that. We don't need a full rewire. There's Romex in there. We're going to have one unit of demolition, and we're going to put one dumpster at this house. And we don't need permits on this. Um, here's the other thing. This one has a foundation issue slightly this is why we got this house so well uh, at such a discount but here's the thing there's a it i'm gonna put drain tile in this house just because it's block walls and there are moisture issues issues down there it doesn't need to be uh we don't need beams up there 
to uh, support the foundation walls. Uh, but I'll show you the drain tile on the back end and the others. But for now, I know for a fact in that basement that you know we're going to be at least double this. I'm going to put enough in there right now. Um, I don't know if that will. Let's just go 300%. That makes me more comfortable. That's a lot for that basement. Let's just let's just um, let's dial that down just down to 4,400 because I can get that thing done for 3,500 bucks as a drain tile. But let's err on the side of having a little bit more. Now again. You don't have to be a contractor to know that. If you had foundation problems, just click the button. That 2200 would at least put something in there for you to bring a contractor in and do something to the walls. Clean them up, whitewash them. I just know that I'd probably add drain tile on this to sell it to the retail public. I can always take that number out. I'm going to get a final clean in photography. So look at this. Even on a little 843 square foot house, you see how quick that that number adds up and we didn't do anything out of the ordinary guys and you know in this we can definitely you know we talked about doing uh, drain tile um, and then we talked about also getting into well let's see this caught me off guard now I'm looking at uh, I wanted to address that railing you know on the front that's a nice new black you know wrought iron railing and a concrete stoop so when you see stuff like that and it's not all rusted out don't worry just leave it don't even put a number in there for that so I didn't want to get uh, too far in the weeds on that but um, I don't go through the others in this case uh, very often because it's really for more advanced users because it gets into actually measuring linear footage uh, so on and so forth um, but I did want to put that garage door opener in here and I did tell you that I wanted to so we're gonna put one here add garage door opener 400 bucks and I did want to talk about that foundation with uh, doing the uh, drain tile so uh, when you're getting into foundation waterproofing interior drain tile you're it's always gonna be by the foot guys so you know in this case with the uh, um, 843 square feet this thing is pretty much a box okay so it's you know if, if you're if you're not measuring and and you're guessing okay um, you know no matter what I mean if you're coming in and going okay well you know geez that thing's got to be 30 by 30 you know that gives you 900 square feet that's close enough all right so if uh, you know in that you're gonna have basically go around if it's if it's 30 feet by 30 feet you're gonna have you multiply those walls of course by four you're gonna have 120 feet that you're gonna have to do drain tile I don't and I didn't want to get you know too far into this but you see that number that throws on there 7200 that's gonna be a you know I can definitely get that number down you know with my contractors right now but that is definitely a, hey, let's be safe number, okay? With a uh, 120 feet all the way around to do the drain tile in there. Especially since it's wide open, there's nothing to move around. Those guys, I, I could get that done for half that cost right now. And uh, with contractors going into the winter. So again, I don't want to get lost you know, too far into the weeds on this. This is a good one to look at to see some things that you, know, you haven't seen on this back end, like adding that garage door opener. So um, you can see there's, this is, there's a lot here. It actually goes into uh, new construction pricing as well. You can see skylights, tankless water heaters, so on and so forth. But let's get into calculating offers quick and wrap this up. So beautiful. Our cash offer right here we've got is $43,000. That is for a full retail. We're going to bring this thing up to, uh, up to beautiful. Now again, that thirty-seven thousand dollar number, that is you're definitely going to spend that and less depending on your scope. But I've got a really healthy margin to work in with what we're buying this for. That means, man, I could sell this to a whole, you know, I could wholesale this to an investor, or I could I could do well on the uh, you know on the flip. Or to be honest with you guys, I could probably spend ten to twelve thousand to bring that up to rent ready. Uh, in, in you know to get somebody in there and put off the drain tile and put off doing anything in the kitchen leave the tops we could even make the bathroom work um, so for now it's a lot of information I know but we have a lot of different exit strategies on this on this one so um, 
we'll create our standard forms, our details, net sheet, and purchase contract. We're just going to generate these PDFs to look at. We're not going to email right now or put seller information because this is a short sale. It's for us. All right. That was a great one. Thanks, guys.